Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Global Speedrun Association, our Any% percent Tournament Round 3. Today with a race between Sui Sega and Accurate 031. I do need to apologize as we go in this one. I did actually get a quite heavy cold, so my voice is going to be slightly affected from this one. I also mm -hmm. don't really feel like putting on the cam show for you. Not feeling too well, but I'll still try to do my best as far as commentary goes. And I do have backup if it goes, uh, if, if I get in trouble. <laughs> Chaos Pringle is helping me out on this one. Yeah. So, what's up, Chaos? <laughs> what's up, dude? How is it? Well, it should well, be a good race. <laughs> yeah, it's the, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still okay. I did get some work done towards my YouTube series today. And yeah, this race is exciting. So, even though I'm not feeling that good physically, I, I, still, feel, I still feel hyped about this race. It's definitely going to be... An interesting one and accurate and suicide actually i know they talk a lot about um strats yeah i could getting um killed by the tomato right there interesting uh, death for him <laughs> but yeah accurate um and so actually talk a lot when it comes to strats um yep. i know that we uh, that we did ask Akrit for a lot of optimizations and his movement so they are confident um they both do some very advanced stuff as we yeah. said previously, Eckert having a pretty unique movement style. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Oh no. Okay. So, <clears throat> yeah. Sui, yeah, they're pretty good friends. They talk a lot. Sui, you know, former world record holder, number two in the world, one of the best players in the game. And uh, Eckert, he's also like a really good player. I think he's way better than his PB, but yeah, he doesn't play that much, so it makes sense. Yeah, for sure. So, so on the other side, um, I don't know how his routine was during the time where he, uh, where his con connection was kind of suffering. There was this period where both Nicro and Sui had some connection issues with their um, internet provider, and I don't know if Sui has been focusing on runs or practice more. It's something to be looking out for. I know that Sui is currently at the run grind again. We have him, we have seen him do some some full runs again yeah. obviously um completing full runs also builds your consistency in, in, in races that's definitely interesting yeah sui like i think his second run back actually uh he got a 101 30 so he tied my current pb which is kind of cool but yeah he, so ah, uh, i mean we'll see if he's rusty or not yeah for sure so Suicide in some in some parts of the run can be also kind of a wild card. We, I, I I was actually able to commentate a Suicide versus Nicro race back in the day when they both were at the uncontested top of the world. Yeah. And in all of those three races, actually, um, Sui did not manage to get Nut Clip, and that's obviously a very big one. But usually, he's actually mostly considered a pretty consistent runner, and. Uh, when you see him make mistakes, he usually doesn't get bothered too much and just gets back on track. Yeah. Acrid, um, I'm pretty sure he has he's pretty decent at not clip, but uh he's he's missed it. I mean everybody misses it once in a while, but yeah. We'll see. Hopefully no deep woods shenanigans from both runners. Yeah, exactly. Seems like we are ready to get this one on our way. Countdown should be happening backstage, basically. Let's go. And yeah, once I'm again, happy. pretty excited. Hopefully we get a good race. <clears throat> also, once again, if you guys are not familiar, we do have our three live-proof screen captures at the bottom of the screen. Type an exclamation mark SMO-proof to check out what they are all about. So there we go, Eckert and Sui Sega, the last quarter final actually before we head into the semifinals. Uh, Rea, Equan, and Stravos, the players that have been advancing so far. Yep. So the winner of this race is actually going to be facing Rea in yep. the next match in the semis. I think, yeah, it should be a hard match. Either one, to be honest. Either one wins. That'll be a hot match. Actually, like, no no top five players in the uh, semis of this tournament so far. I mean, Sui's still in. 
So yeah, pretty interesting fact. Like I said last race, I mean it just shows anybody can win versus anybody. Exactly. So both of our runners should definitely be on 1.0 physical. Mm -hmm. For sure. Digital is still up in the air. We don't we don't know if it's gonna be allowed or not. The mods are still discussing, so no one's on 1.0 digital yet. But yeah, you have to you have to hack your switch to get it, so it's pretty controversial. Some people don't like doing that for obvious reasons. Yeah, I mean, obviously, and it seems kind of weird because obviously the top level of competition tries to get uh, seconds where they can, basically. I don't, I don't think there's... I don't, yeah. I don't know. And it's just, yeah, a lot of people obviously don't only use their Switch to speedrun Super Mario Odyssey, which is obviously understandable. So literally messing with your system just to save 10 seconds is something very unreasonable unless you really want to push for the world record. And even then, it's still decided if we would allow it or not. So nothing final on that one yet. Yeah, even if it is allowed, I don't see any um top like 10 runners switching to it. Because most top 10 runners, besides like where you uh, only have physical, and uh, they don't want to buy six like $60 copy, and then they have to hack their Switch. Exactly. Like and just most players don't even want to hack their Switch anyway, so... Yeah. yeah. So, we... so Sega actually investing it up twice. Unfortunate oh, bonk no. there as well. That's one of the, the harder losses on FMS. This yeah. seems to work though. Yeah. Unfortunate. It's not the end of the world. No, Maybe for sure. Okay. Oh, Echo actually pausing his uh, his game right there. Yep. Oh, I guess. Um. FMS is notoriously one of the bigger run distortion events, I'd say, because especially if one of the player misses it, is misses it or has to back up twice. The, the difference becomes very, very visible, very fast, but um, it's not actually that much. Echo is basically one phase in the boss fight ahead, which should actually be around like 10 seconds, but 10 seconds this early is not a big deal, especially with Sand and Sphinx clip coming up, and obviously Wooded, which is the very big one at the, in the early game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Acrid, I'm like 100% sure he's gonna do single clip, because he does single clip move, and his single clip movement is actually pretty good. Sui, I'm not sure he probably will do Sui single clip but we've seen double clip a lot in this tournament so i don't know maybe he'll go all in since he's behind or something. <clears throat> something that i find super interesting as you just said that is the way double clip kind of developed like at, at in one point in the speed run literally every top runner did double clip already but then as the new wooded route got found some people basically said okay i don't need to double clip right now i need, don't need to save those three extra seconds when i can ruin my run when i can literally save 30 seconds in wooded so that's kind of how the sand idea changed, but slowly people are returning to double clip again because what it is a standard window. I can take a bonk right there. Not that big of a deal though. That chest clip looks good. Yeah, he's fine. It's chest clip nice. Lee, let's see if Sui gets it. That looks good as well. Might be a little to the left. Nah. Interesting he goes forward there. And that's actually yeah, risky. Yeah. He 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 bonked against this little stone pebble right there, which just barely gave him enough height to clip back and bounce. Yeah. Normally, like the best thing to do there is just go left, straight yeah. left, yeah. and just cap throw. Cap. That was super simple. That's what Acrid did here. I guess I got. Is that a five ten from Acrid? That's insane. It actually. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, we don't really know the exact. Like obviously, especially when the early game is happening we do know our exact paces like a 510 would be pretty incredible yeah. and now looking at the run echo didn't really do many mistakes but at the other side obviously we did have some sinking going so can, we cannot guarantee that this pace is that insane but his run is looking very good so far one bonk probably probably would have already killed the 510 like it it's realistically like 514 i'm guessing yeah like that's what i'm what i would say visually yeah but yeah still good for macron Obviously. Yeah, for sure. 
same coming out. Small girls. Sweet, um, what? <laughs> that camera is very interesting. He always does this. Now he's just not leaving. What? Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's flying. He's actually using his drone right now. <laughs> using his drone. Yeah. That's an interesting camera angle from soon. Doesn't um, actually change anything. I, I, I've heard people say, yeah, he's trying to reduce the lag, but I think he's just doing it for fun. He's like, I don't really experience lag in this part um, and it should be in, in, in like very, very minimal. I don't even know if lag affects time. Uh, it affects like time loss in this something we should look into but uh, it has to be minimal if it is a thing like yeah. it's super super minimal i'm pretty sure there's, there's like definitely lag at the start of there like i've experienced it um but yeah we don't know if it actually loses time yeah exactly that's, that's what i'm saying yeah so yeah i'm pretty sure both players are gonna do notes which is nice for us yeah for sure Notes is the fastest route. You just skip boxes for notes. Uh, I could already heading into the section with a, with a tight lead. So if we was to just grab crate right now, it would be a little weird as a viewer experience. But I'm very sure that Sui is gonna go for notes if he gets that ram. I don't actually know. I, it might be possible to hold in. No, no that was, was too far. Too yeah. Dang. Yeah, I could growing his lead even more. Honestly. Was that? We have just done boxes, maybe. Yeah, yeah. At this point, it would have been probably better because now he needed to go to the box again. But I guess um, he. I mean, I guess it's it's pretty much the same depending on how much. Especially if you don't do dram jam. I, I do think Sui so didn't do dram jam, so at this point, it's still faster to do notes. Yeah, Akra getting first strike loop. Uh, Opting for signal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said. Okay. Yeah. Acker doing single clip, he's not known for double clip, he doesn't do any attempts, and he's not gonna do it in a race like this. So he's he looks like he's gonna try double clip, the way he clipped right there, yeah. yeah. Ooh, Second Acker try for the first clip. Showing off his pretty nice, pretty swaggy. <coughs> I think it's the fastest single clip movement. Hopefully, Sui gets his first try, if he doesn't, he's gonna be in trouble, he gets it, nice. Nice. Oh no, he clipped back. That's not that big of a deal. Uh, it actually um, is fine. Th this pipe transition is not that long. Like, it's not gonna mess with this bird because this clip was yeah. fine. Like, just yeah. super minimal. It's obviously a bit slower, but that's yeah. nice for double clip. Like, if you clip uh, clip in there and single clip, you are in a lot of trouble. Actually, you need to react yeah. quick and either do pipe clip or lose a lot of time. Yeah. Dang. That's crazy. Is he not holding Y? Uh, he is not holding Y. Yeah. That's that's why he's so fast right there. Yeah. Does that save time for taxi skip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've gotten a it lot does, of clips with this. It doesn't really game. seem like it because uh, because you get interrupted by the moon, but after grabbing the moon, your your momentum builds up super high, super um super high. Actually, accurate bird kind of signalizes us that this sand was pretty insane. Uh, the yeah. bird is very far back, even on single clip. Let's see how this notes goes for him. I don't even know if that's the right tree. Okay, it is. I was actually confused right there. Wow, wow, that's good. Oh my goodness, that was insane. He he almost fell down, but he actually it was not going to end up losing time from this oh, one. My disgusting notes. That sand was insane from Accurate, to be honest. I wonder what that is. Yeah, I mean, if we keep our philosophy up with the adding four seconds, He's probably going to be looking like a 10, 18 or something, which is pretty good. Yeah, that was no, that was single spin throw notes. That's disgusting. Yeah, that's a dream. Yeah. So you're getting a clean notes, but, you know. So we actually behind by quite a bit now. But not, like, yeah. what it can be. You could probably say 20 seconds because this cut is like 24. Yeah. That Akron is playing with at the lead right now. Yeah, it could definitely, but it could definitely change if Akron misses Nut Clip. But yeah, not close to Theo percent world rec record, which is like a meme category that just ends at the end of Send. But uh, yeah, the Theo percent world record has obviously stuff like Double Clip and Wooden Bonk and Cascade and the usual. But uh, yeah. that was pretty good still. Very, very good Send. And actually very good early game so far. I could, like if we go back, so what did he do? He bonked in Cascade and that's it. Yeah, that's it. Only mistake. 
I mean, classic Akron, in my opinion. Yeah. His early games are always insane. But yeah. Sui, I mean, bonking on the Sphinx like once, and then he clicked back in, which not really that big of mistakes. Yeah. To be honest. I guess I could also pause the game before he fought Madame Brutal, but it's like a super minor thing. Yeah. Everything else super clean. Yeah, I just hope Wooder goes all well for both of them, to be honest. But yeah, Egrid is playing well so far. No mistakes in Lake. That's something you really don't want to see after a good start like this. Uh, yeah, it definitely happens though. Like, I've definitely lost friends in Lake. It's just, it feels like it just feels so bad. To make mistakes in Lake. Yeah, and then Lake is either like a super minor mistake, like a fish bonk against Dory, or it's missing the fish jump that I was doing right now, or falling at the zipper. Like, you're either gonna make a huge mistake or just a tiny, unnoticeable one. Obviously, both of them matter, but if you fall at the zipper, it's like a huge thing, or if you miss the triple jump at the very start. I guess the, the vault is what we do. Yeah, I think Theo percent world record is actually a 10 11 by low curves, which is absolutely disgusting. Um, yeah. Yeah, and that is if you convert it to any percent splitting because the official end for Theo percent is like when the banner rolls out, when the Odyssey yeah. is repaired and said, but yeah. It's banner it's splits for Theo percent. And uh, our actual like fade out timing. Well, I mean, some people split banner and some people split exactly. fade out. And then some people spl split A press. We don't really have like a splitting standard, I guess. People just kind of do their own thing. But yeah, most people split fade out, but there are like Sui, for instance, splits most of his splits on A press. Safaro so splits on A press. Curb splits on banner. Strav splits on banner. Yeah. Like, yeah. People Super just do Super personal different thing, which obviously doesn't really like. It doesn't really affect your runs. It, the only thing that kind of can get annoying for people is when they compare their goals. But obviously, when you split on banner consistently, it doesn't matter because the times they're going to be the same. Uh, yeah, um, other than the kingdoms like Lost and Ruined, where you don't really get a banner in the first place. After the, going to water. I really hope he gets knuckle up here. It would be a shame. Yeah, it would be a shame if this run... Um, fails at the wall clip. Yeah, but it would make the race closer. I think Sui would probably be in the lead if he gets that clip, assuming he gets it all perfectly. Exactly, like he needs to obviously get it as well. Yeah. It's a, I don't even think he's gonna do rock clip. I think he told me he's gonna do like warp or something. <laughs> if he misses it, so we'll see. Sui, That's I think, if he misses it, I think Sui's gonna do rock clip because he does practice it. And, uh, yeah. That's also interesting from my perspective because um, the last time I was uh, commentating his races where he did not um, get nut clip, he was still doing the old one, but it was still when we were super fresh with the entire wooded reroute thing, so it makes sense that he got used to it now. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe he'll go for all routes into the race. I don't know. I'm pretty sure in his runs he goes for rock clip, but we'll see. Ooh, fancy camera minute there. So I still haven't learned that. I need to learn Being that. optimal. Yeah, yeah that's a, a small thing. So Eckwood getting the homing throw. This looks good to me. Yeah, he gets it. Nice. OB still to come. Yes, gets he gets move. it. Nice. Not fall down. Don't fall down, my dude. And gets back and bounce. Nice. That's, that's the right, coming up. Gets it. I oh, I don't know that. about that one. Oh, yes, oh wow, actually, that, that's such an interesting good. camera, what? Yeah. What? His movement is actually clean. Wow, that was good as well. Both players getting... Hopefully he doesn't follow. I just follow. Uh, I he's back. Good. <laughs> thought I jinxed him for a second there, but... We're good. Both players getting the OB and wooded solidly. Yeah, yeah, talking about jinxing though, there's still, and we've seen it in this uh, tournament already, the opportunity to die in the section before you grab Piranha, which is so big because you, you get spawned back at the shop, which is like a what, like a minute time loss immediately. Yeah. Ooh, fancy movement from Akrid. That's okay, actually Akrid really is risky. Right now. Yeah, that movement's really risky. It's very easy to just fall to deep woods there. Jesus, what's that gonna be? They're getting everything here, literally. Yeah. This wood has been really clean from Akrid. 
And I mean, Sui has also had a really good win. Yeah, for like... sure. Oh, Sui actually going for it as well. And, uh, that's what I'm saying. Probably a, a, a coaching oh, session for Akira. Unfortunately, missing poison jump though. Yeah, it's unfortunate. That's like four seconds missing that. It's really punishing. Yeah. For like the what time it means? saves, is, it's very punishing. Yep. Yeah. It does look cool. You, yeah. you basically cheat, quote unquote, but yeah, you don't. You buffer a jump. Yeah. It's not that hard, but it's easily missable. Yeah, Akrid getting far with ship. This, is, this sword is looking really good from Akrid. Yeah. Like, my goodness. He's playing out of his mind. And yeah, there's obviously a huge section still left uh, these days, which runners do to skip Spewer, which is pretty scary. So let's hope Akrid can get this one out of his way as well. And Sui still obviously needs to get Lauron skip here. Um. No, uh, he's at least safe for a death, like even if he was to die, he wouldn't spawn the shop. Let's just get it here. Boom, I think that okay. works. Not the worst in the world, but Sui obviously playing more sloppy than Akrito here. <laughs> so hopefully uh, Spiritless goes well for Akrid. Yeah, okay. that's good. Hopefully he gets the buffer jump. Doesn't get it. That's unfortunate, but it's not that big of a deal. Probably just killed his chance of a gold, though. Which sucks. But he's still in the lead, obviously. Not that big of a deal. I don't even think he's looking that much for gold. He just wants to get out of this because this pace is still good. Maybe not saving that much time with, uh, like, uh, just off of doing this route, I guess, because if you make a mistake, it's hard to actually still save time. But if he gets out of this sewers here, this is today a very, very good run. Yeah, Sui getting the buffer jump nicely done. Yeah, Akrid probably on PB pace as well. Like, oh, for on. sure. Yeah. I mean, what's that? That's like an 1840 or something? Yeah. Well, according to the timer, it's Yeah, according to the timer, it's a 36, which would be... Very, very interesting, but I I would rather say... Um, yeah, probably not a 36. Yeah, exactly. Well, Akra, do you know what, what that was on your splits? So we can... Well, you probably can't say it, but... Was that like an 1840, what? Or 30, I don't know. Yeah, apparently very good wooded pace for him as far... Like, until basically that one missed buffer jump but sui once again we can't we cannot forget him like we've seen this race yesterday basically between equan and curves which are super close and then snowdrum suddenly comes in the equation or, or lost which is pretty much the next big thing now yeah so yeah let's not forget that part i mean yeah sui not having a bad run at all like i mean the far road skip stuff kind of sucks but no deep woods shenanigans yeah. like you got the ob and that's all that really matters like and the stakes after that are like a couple seconds compared to like if you fall in the deep woods, it's like a minute. Exactly. So, not the worst thing in the world for Sui. You can definitely come back. 1840, it sounds about right. So, yeah, so we do know the four, the four seconds that we were assuming earlier are correct. But yeah, Ekrid heading into Cloud. Um, pretty interesting strat for him to go or buff those clouds. That does look a little slow, but it's actually very fast and a very clean, fast line that he took yep. there. wonder what cloud strat Sui will be using. I don't know if he knows Cloudburst, but I don't think he'll be in this race. <laughs> yeah, pretty standard stuff, pretty quote-unquote old stuff, but it's an easy and not obviously too slow version of it. The long jump is a bit unoptimal, but it's fine. Yeah. <sighs> the thing is, it seems like such a minor thing, but that's like one of the things you can optimize Cloud at. The rest is basically an auto scroller. I, I, I mean, there's a manipulation, but other than that, that's it. Yeah, good Cloud from Akron. Not many runners messing up Cloud nowadays. It's, uh, it's getting pretty trivial, I guess. It is nice to see. I, I remember there was actually the time where Sui was notoriously known for killing some runs in Cloud when yeah. Nutclip was just a thing. But just off of that, Sui probably got a lot more consistent at it and right now haven't really seen him mess this up in a long, long time. Yeah, we'd see him get like crazy paces back in back in the day, like eighteen, like 
48s or something, which was insane when that play first came out. Yeah, and that's basically still the dream, you know? Like, that hasn't changed. Like, that's still... Yeah. The, back then, that was already... Like, back then, it was actually unbelievable, and now that's still, like, a cr crazy pace. Yeah. Yeah, Akrid on hot pace right now. Like, Sui's not even playing the... Oh, well... He will still live, which is uh, the big part. Yeah, that's fine. Mm. Dive there? Interesting. That, that strat's weird. Yeah, Ekwit talked about this previously. He's not confident doing the the, uh, the spin pound there. That's his that's his safety strat, I say. And that's something he's aware of and that he wants to change in the future. Yeah. Yeah, not it's that not big open. of a deal though. He, no, uh, exactly. That was weird. Like, Stra I see Strav like roll, like double roll, roll canceling on the yeah. stairs for Koto. He That's optimal. Yeah. That is optimal. That's kind of risky though because you can actually throw a Klepto, oh God, like happy in Klepto's hand. But yeah, that's what I was I might want to say. Accurate at the very scary part of the run here. Oh, Getting yeah. the bridge moon, nice. Equid out of yeah. lost on very good pace. He's probably gonna die though. Oh, Cappy returned. Wow, that's actually perfect. Yeah, good stuff from Acrid. So he bonked on the. St oh no, not getting damage. That was. Dang, he got like the last thing. Yeah, yeah, Sui is surely getting bullied. Yeah, Sui. Feels bad. lost right now. But yeah, Acrid out of lost. Sui going for Kate triple. Hopefully, he gets it clean. Nice stuff. Gotta get. It's not over yet. Gotta get the moon. Yeah, wow. Eckert lost 22 28, which is pretty phenomenal. Yep. Yeah. Sui, a little sloppy on loss, but again, not the worst in the world. Eckert's just playing out of his mind right now. Looks like Eckert will be doing the spin pound. This is like the standard also nowadays. It, it's, it's pretty fast. Like. Yeah, you just do the spin pound like three rolls or whatever. Do two trips. I think Sui's also gonna do it as well. Um. So as far as Night Rift and Metro goes, Equid usually has some actually very insane optimizations for the Kingdom that he has not been adding. I mean, no one has has been Ooh. adding them. Cap very stylish return. cap return. Yeah, I've seen that from Strav, I think, from Curbs, Equan, some of, one of them. Yeah. Only one roll for Boomba Jump, which is not that bad, obviously. Yeah, Akrid doesn't do the double roll. He never does it. Um, I don't know. I guess he just doesn't like it. Do we also doing the uh, spin pound there? I mean, everybody's doing it now. So, yeah. It's just, it's faster. <laughs> exactly. And you just turn your camera while you're, like, mashing, basically. And, like, well, you start when you skip the last cutscene. And then, yeah. Keep turning right. so, yeah. Good start for Sui as well. Let's not forget him. He's still trailing behind. He's still creeping. Yep. I mean, yeah. Sui's not having a bad run, but Akrid just insane. This is definitely PB pace for him. Like, for sure. 100%. Mecha Wiggler. That spin throw was pretty hot. He always does that too. I'm just amazed every time. Yeah, it looks kind of flawless. He he's he's no he's used to the spin throw uh, spin throw can so he just probably starts rolling while the screen is still black and then gets that spin throw optimally. Yeah, he's one of the best at spin throw can. Yeah, actually. for sure. Uh, yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. Also, Strive is spin throw can a lot. Hopefully, no Wiggler staying and. Okay, so we having a hard time capturing the file on there. So I know. That section of uh, Metro is actually visited twice, as we know, and thus the spin pound is awkward twice, basically. So you better get used to it when you learn the game. Yeah. Equids, uh, Wiggler, they're not optimal, but at the end actually still playing out, playing out as he wanted to. Like, obviously you want to basically shoot three parts of the Wiggler with every shot. But the way it turned out from at the end was still very fine. Yeah, Wiggler was fun. Didn't lose that much. <laughs> no. 
Hopefully Siri will have a good wiggler. Like, Siri's not that far behind, like, to be honest, considering how good of a run Accurate is having. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Still, Snow Jam coming up. Could change the lead. I hope Accurate doesn't mess up Snow Jam, but it definitely is a thing that can happen. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I actually haven't heard much from Acred recently complaining about Snow He's actually been making like a small tutorial, so I think his consistency is fine. Oh, yeah. I think he's good with Snow he, he was like, yeah, I'm not even worried about Snow anymore. I mean, most top runners like are starting to not worry about it anymore. Like, it's starting to just become like trivial. Oh no. Missing the Metro Jam. Not that big of a deal. Yeah, that's not as much. Like, this drum is actually quote unquote. It's, I mean, it's obviously optimal to get it, but it, it should probably be pretty close. You can probably almost um, get the same time with not doing it. Like, if you just dive into that hole and do, like, a roll, and then, like, spin pound roll against the back or something, you should probably be able to almost tie it. It would be more awkward, though. Oh, that's, Unfortunately, that's Capping not cooperating, yeah. Yeah, that's BS. I, like, that wasn't really his fault. Cappy just didn't hold to the thing. So we actually not doing the... Uh... Where you run on the girder. That's interesting. I actually timed that strat, and for me, it saved like 0.5 over the normal strat. At least for me. How I yeah. it, so. Oh, accurate. Showing off spin throw mm -hmm. jump. Yeah. To keep momentum. Again with the spin throw. <laughs> Well, I guess it's not really a roll can. It kind of it acts like a. Roll it actually can it actually is basically a roll cancel because you get this you have so much speed from the pole that you have like rolling speed. So you basically it's like a speed cancel or a cap cancel, I guess. But yeah, you transfer your your momentum from the pole with the spin throw. Yeah, yeah. Akkad's just playing out of his mind right now. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't even say out of his mind. Like Akkad's definitely. I He's just not making done. mistakes. Like, that's what he usually does. It's just working out for him today. Like, there's not yeah. been many mistakes. Oh. I, I, okay, I mean, commentator's <laughs> cursor. But yeah. Oh. I, I mean, uh, okay. yeah, I guess the commentator's cursor. He's actually playing horrible. Let's not jinx him again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, well, well we got our first game. highlight of the match for sure for the regal. <laughs> oh, Sui actually doing first person that looked like it uh, didn't really work. I think he pressed first person okay. twice, actually. I think the drummer, like, it depends on your position. I think you have to no, be, but like, I think you pressed it twice. Like, you know, it, 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 that probably happened to you before in cap, you know? Yeah. Like, when you go into first person, but then press it again to go out of first person again. And yeah. it, 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 that that's looked like, um, it looked like that's what he did. Like, he went in, then he went out, and then he talked to him. Maybe, yeah. I think. I but it might also be position dependent. It's a new strat that isn't really that well underst uh, understood yet, but yeah. That's actually what Equid does on purpose. It, it looked okay. close, but he always does that. That's actually a strat we yeah. both keep it up because we have trouble. Oh my god, that's risky. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Very close there. I was not casting for sure. So yeah, Stewie, think... Stewie's still trailing pretty closely behind. He's been playing well as well. Like, let's not forget him. He's still there. He's, he's not making yeah. major mistakes. I mean, Stewie's just being Stewie and Equid just playing out of his mind. It's basically. It for this one. Um, yeah. But, Once like, again, the strat that Eckert was doing there, we developed it because we are both like uncomfortable with doing the triple roll cancel triple jump, and that's actually able to tie basically the fastest uh, triple jump clip we have yet. Actually, Equan today posted a clip where you can skip the cap dive on this entire strat. That's something I do want to time, but yeah. That was pretty. That was pretty hot for me. Oh yeah. Uh, Oof, he's flying. Yeah. He's flying to the level. He got the double roll. My BTT clip is gone. He's rolling. Oh my god, I think it's over. I don't know. These were some pretty... This was a pretty good first moon here in, in the crowded... Eddie, I think, I think it is. Ooh. Dude, Akka's just styling on us right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's a... If the time... I don't think the timer... What was it? Like, four seconds off, right? Yeah, apparently. Yeah, this is like a 30, 10... Or, 3024. 3020, I guess. Oh, 3020. Oh, yeah. 3024. I, I'm I'm drunk. But, yeah. 3024. That's pretty decent. Definitely PvP's. It's like six seconds off my PvP. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Am I... Yeah. Six seconds off. Well, 3025, I think. 
So yeah, he's definitely. We do need to remember team. that Akron's PB is a 102.20 right now. Yes. Uh, Kevin's PB is in fact a 101.30, so that's 50 seconds better, and Akron is only six seconds off right now. Yeah. So I mean, he's still behind his PB though, which his PB was like insane. Yeah, his early game was completely, completely. Yeah. Completely but he insane. Fell but he. Yeah, his Bowser's was not the best. I think, I think he has like 50 seconds in lunch than Bowser's or something. <laughs> or like 40, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Akron playing pretty well. And like, Sui's playing good as well, but like, Akron's just playing out of his mind. And Akron, in his arguably his best kingdom, so exactly. He, has the best goals, <coughs> he does all the strats. He's pretty consistent in all the strats as well. So yeah, looking really hot. Snow, <laughs> usually his element. Yeah. Pretty spicy. Yeah, curbs. These time the timers aren't exactly correct. I'm pretty sure it's like four seconds behind. So yeah, he's probably not even. Yeah, but still. But still, yeah, run? still insane. <laughs> Snowdrap is still on his hands, so he obviously needs to get past that too. But he's still on his on his feet, basically. I could doing that wall jump with the homing throw. Yep. Past the strat, obviously. He's probably gonna try for the moon clip here as well, obviously. Past the strat. Is that what he's doing? I don't know. Oh, he just didn't even go for it. I'm pretty sure he clipped. But... I don't know much about that moon clip. To be honest, that's like the one thing you don't want to lose this run to. Obviously, it's it's fast and it's very stylish, but he maybe he, he didn't trust it too. I don't know. Oh no! Okay, he lived. No. Okay, he bombed, which is bad. But he lived, which is more important, arguably. Okay, so he's having a little trouble getting the moon. It's fine. Yeah, that bonk is very costly. Oh my goodness! Commentator's curse. Again, striking Akra down. <laughs> it feels bad, man. I mean, it's not as tragic. Probably adds up to around 10 seconds in this room alone, which is a lot. But uh, that's not the end of his run. Yeah. Both players, you know, making minor mistakes. Akra obviously making the bigger mistake. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, it happens to the best of the commentators, I guess. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, okay. I mean, we, I'm not even gonna predict how this Goomba room is gonna go for equity. He's just gonna yeah. go into completely neutral, getting that spin throw, which is pretty stylish. Yep, he's uh, he's gonna do okay. Yep. Yeah. He exactly. Yeah. yeah. This is looking just okay. Yep. Both players doing just okay. <laughs> Anything can happen. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> well, anyway, so Akrid does still have, and I'm not even going to say the outcome of it, but a Snowdram is a thing. And it's going to yep. be like the next big thing on his mind now, after this move. Yep, Snowdram is a trick, and it is fast. Exactly, it can happen or it can't, but we'll yeah. see. <laughs> so hopefully, it goes decently okay. Wow. Yeah, Sui so definitely catching up a bit. Yeah, for sure. Like even though he made this small mistake there in the Lloyd's room, still trading, still creeping. Yeah. Both players having enough coins for the shop. Unlike last race, where one player had like 30 coins going into snow. I don't know who that he's was. He still won. Yeah, he still won. But yeah. All right, Snow Dream. Okay, Snow Dream coming up. Bless Angie's in chat. Get up, looking hot. Yes, okay. Let's uh, go. Alright, I'm pretty sure he can still PB even after the snow. Well, like for sure. Said. Like, once again, yeah. don't forget his PB is a 1 or 2 20. And he's yeah. gonna get like a. I guess, like, let's just call it a 35 25, but it's very good still. Man. <coughs> so. Lost everything. Suicide like playing it safe. Hopefully Sui gets it. Yes. Gets it. Okay, nice. both players getting it. Like we still have a race. Still it's... very close trading behind. Echo just uh, yeah. can't feel safe. <laughs> Even yeah. though this run is insane, but Sui is on 
He's basically we, right behind him. Yeah. We know Sui, we know how good he can play. Especially in races. Very consistent player. So... We'll see. Hopefully we get a good one. Hopefully Seaside. Yeah, Seaside. Good I was right about to say Seaside still being a kingdom when when runs go well, Seaside just tends to to somehow mess with you and you bonk on the first and third moon and somehow your time save is gone out of nowhere. Yeah. That's not, I can manage that one. Happens to the best of us. Ooh, side flip, stylish. He lost a bit of height there on the dive, but he's fine with the side flip. Very optimist red. Mm hmm Angle was kind of wide, but not that big of a deal. So screen captures are gonna be coming up here at the chest moon and Dory, which is underwater moons later in this kingdom. So uh, let's see if Acrid's run is actually happening right now. I hope Acrid remembers because yeah, I hope Acrid is aware because I he know. tends to he tends to be very focused and in his own world on these runs. But let's see how this goes. Yeah, when I'm on good pace, I it's hard to like actually remember. Should I get the captures? Oh no, bonking kills that man. I mean, that's one of the the easier bonks for you to take, especially like the bonk when going climbing up. That's the one that hurts. Yeah, not that big deal. Not doing fire rocket. Akrid never does fire rocket, so it's not really a surprise. I wonder if Sui will go for it. I think he went for it in his race versus yeah. Lil Aggie. So I'm I'm positive he'll probably go for it. Interesting see. decision for Sui there. Yeah, I think that was a mistake. I think he just rolled off. I've d I did that actually in my. <laughs> it's not fun. It doesn't lose that much time though. Yeah, Sui so going for Flower Rocket. Not really a surprise. Yeah, I agree. I agree, got the first Have capture. Him. That's good, that's good. Hopefully, he'll remember to get Dory as well. Akron making sure his run is not pre-recorded. Hopefully Sui gets the capture as well. You could have kind of gotten the idea how well this run was going. Obviously the mistakes and um, slow. Oh my god, he gets it. <laughs> yeah. Getting bullied by the cheap cheap and Cappy simultaneously. Not fun. Getting the capture, the capture though. Okay, Cap hopefully Akron... Capture Afikture, I guess. Yeah. Hopefully Akron gets the Dory. He gets it, yeah. I think. Goodness. He gets those. Hopefully, Sui gets it as well. So yeah, that, that one bonk actually, if I could like, kind of the only thing to see side. Yeah, next capture is on the pot moon. Let's go. Yeah, still a bit to go until then. Yeah, of course. Just trying to remind everyone, you know. <laughs> ah, capture effectué for Sui there. Very nice to see. Yep. Nice to see. So we'll see what pace actually is on. Easter eggs. Um, in so Akron made a 101 comparison, and in that comparison, it had a 3901 seaside, and this is looking like a 39. I'm gonna say like. 58? So he can still 101. Definitely can still 101. Just, yeah, 48 or 58? 58. Ah, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So looking hot from Acrid. Can definitely PB, can definitely 101. So yeah, on the other hand, like, he's on like low 102 pace. Like 102, like. 20 pace if he plays it has a good end game. So hopefully that happens. Alright, I will get another shot at uh, Capture Effectue later. Let's see if I can nail it that one <laughs> on the pot moon. Yeah, Akron. Salt triple was pretty clean. And hopefully see we get to this little pretty hard jump. Um We've seen players miss it in races before and in runs on good pace. Yeah, and Equid's still opting for his very clean looking uh, road cancel strat there to start off with had huge respect. Something he found and it just looks so beautiful. Yeah, it's it's pretty tricky to be honest. Um, yeah, it's an instance once to get off Equid coming up with stylish movement and if he if he finds that himself and if he likes it, he's just gonna learn it until he gets it. Yeah. For sure. <coughs> oh no, Sui. 
not getting the roll cancel. What pace? Yeah, Akrid's definitely on 101 pace right now. Yeah, Hot probably like 101 50 pace. I'd, I'd say. But yeah, still some scary parts to go, and especially, especially Bowser's, because we have seen Equid on these runs before. It's not, it's not the newest thing. Like he has been running like this, but Bowser's not being nice to him. Recently. Yeah. All I, all I hope is for him to get a good Bowser's in this run. Exactly. I mean, this this one has been pretty decent for Mac as well. I mean, so far. I mean, the hardest part. Of luncheon for me at least is corpse because the motion controls can really yeah i guess it's i guess it's for i guess the hardest part of lunch for me is pillar until turnip clip yeah for sure camera nipples is pretty hard which acker will be doing here um yeah camera nipples and then forks forks like forks would be easy like if you had a button for up throws and spin throws it'd be so easy you know It'd be like whatever, but you don't, and the motion controls can be really finicky. Yeah. I've definitely lost a lot of runs to forks. Like, it's just scary. You just leaving your run up to capture an up tape. throw. Yeah, let's go. Keep getting a third capture, very nice. Yeah. The backup capture is in forks. Hopefully, Sui doesn't need it. I don't think. Well, Acker doesn't need it, obviously. Oh no, is he gonna live? He die. Oh my goodness. He That's actually lived. so lucky. That's like, he's only just gonna miss a cycle as if he missed uh camera manipulus and obviously the damage refill, but that's 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 lucky. Could have been a lot worse. Like, yeah. Did he, get, did he even get the flag? I'm not sure if he got the flag. Uh, if he didn't get the flag, sweet. that would have probably lost him the race. Wait, did he miss the capture? Sweet no no capture effect away right there. Uh, he yeah. still has that backup that he can get in Forks. Let's see if he remembers that one. If not, I mean, he's obviously gonna get a strike. But at first, he needs to win this race at the other oh, But Ekrit actually slacking quite a bit here in lunch right now. Uh, that's what I'm saying, guys. Forks and Cameron, it was hard. It's hard. Ekrit <laughs> uh, actually getting the backup capture as well for the swag. Um, Pretty hot swag. Hopefully, Arasui gets the backup capture, I'm hoping. Yeah, they're pretty close to each other, so he's probably pretty focused on his gameplay. I think that's the wrong move. <laughs> is is it? Is it the right one? That's the wrong move. Okay, I guess he gets both. I don't know how the oh. effective rule set for this is, but the uh, Sui I think ca he gets effect to it. I mean, that's, that's that's something that's up to the to the refs. Um, and he definitely he was definitely playing. That's all I can tell to you. Let's be real, but yeah, uh, that's mean, yeah. something not for us to decide. But. This race yeah. is actually getting a, a bit closer now, um, with Akrit making these mistakes, so... For sure. Akrit not having the best luncheon. Um, I mean, the luncheon's been solid, it's just that one big mistake where he almost died. That's pretty much it. And the forks shenanigans, but it wasn't really that big of a game forks. But yeah. So the ending, the ending of luncheon can be really scary, and... Acrid, I don't even think that'll work. I don't think he's gonna make it. You can make that work actually with good vectoring. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not optimal. I think he's still fine. That's okay. Yeah, still good. Taking the dive. This part is also scary, like, it's not over for him. Part I've seen people die. There is a backup yeah. that I think was shown off, like, the Straz race. Strad actually did. Sui and Acrid. Well, no, maybe he was. Oh, kind of missed, by the way, how fast Sui's startup clip was. I just looked over and it was very fast. Yeah. Yeah, Acrid with a. Not the best luncheon, but he's still in the lead. That's all I care Yeah, like, even though these mistakes, like, oh. oh, camera manipulates and the damage there. Oh, Sui, does he know the backup? Uh, yep, he knows the backup. Oh, no! Wait, He's not what? getting the height he wants, but he can still quote unquote. That was it up probably a smart decision. Yeah. See, I would have gone back in the lava probably, but probably the better decision. Not that big of a deal. Like it, like we said earlier, like you don't have to take a damage refill. That happens, so it's not. It loses like a couple seconds, probably. Exactly. If you know that so, backup, yeah, it'll save runs. Yeah, for sure. It will get. Um, I'm not sure. Probably like a 20... 22, I guess. Yeah. 
45-22. Uh, he can still PB, but I don't know about a 101. Not looking too good. Maybe he can squeeze it out if he has a really good Bowser's and a really good Moon. But it's not looking good for a 101. But the race, still looking hot. Well, Eckert's Bowser is huge potential, usually. Yeah. One of the best Bowser goals, I, I think. In IL's yeah. at least. But yeah, I yeah, yeah that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, we've seen some, <coughs> oh, Acrid Bongi on literally nothing. That's, uh, yeah, that's a classic and ruined. Yeah. This is 101 4x pace. I don't know, dude. I think that's technically actually possible, because I just looked up at, at Nycro's one, which he also had, didn't have the best, the best luncheon. And his split also was like a 19, so Echo is like maybe... Eight seconds away from it, so 101 should be possible if he plays well, even with that bonk. But he needs to play well, he needs to play super well, and Sui yeah, is training course. behind him, so. Very cool move in there, so I like that. Also, that bonk. I mean. I'm just like thinking about like his his moon, like Akrid's moon. I'm pretty sure he has like 23 gold, so. I don't know. Nycro, like Nycro's run, he had like a really good move. Yeah, his Nycro's yeah, his always good at move. Notoriously good, yeah. Yeah, so we'll see. I mean, it, he has to obviously play well. It's all, I mean. I could face two, Sui phase one. Interesting comparison. Yeah. Like, Sui, like we've said, he's not having a bad run. It's just Akka's run is very clean, besides, like, a few minor mistakes. That, yeah. It's just Akka's playing out of his mind. Definitely with mech coming up and shards and stuff. I was right like, about to say that. Uh, falling off mech on Harry third, even though that's kind of you can diminish your damage there, but it probably would already tie the race, like arguably if Sui was playing very well. Those uh, purple dudes almost jumped on Akron. Yeah, Akron almost getting attacked. Yeah. yeah. He's getting bullied. Feels bad, man. Yeah, Sui finishing up Rune. I mean, not much to say on Rune. To be honest, uh, pretty, pretty straightforward kingdom. Yeah, it's almost a good forward. time to reflect how the run is actually going and to kind of unwind. Mm -hmm. It's like a nice breather, especially if you're like super nervous. Like in my run earlier today, I was, whew, I was monkey gigging, but after run, <sighs> it gave me some time to chill out, take in a breath, and you know, realize I can chill. Yeah. But Bowser's coming up. Monka S for accurate. And Sui. One wrong angle, and it could all be over. <laughs> you know? So exactly what you're saying there, because we did find out, at least for many of us, that the Target Acquired is working so much better. Oh, yeah. Target Acquired, like, it's so much easier than the regular Harry Third. It makes, it makes Harry Third pretty easy. Like... I rarely miss it. Like, I don't know. It's very... It also makes it pretty straightforward because there's, that's easy to understand. You know, there's this one spot you need yeah. to stand down and then you need to dive quickly and spin point the bubble. The other Harriet third is you need to stand on, this, on a kind of unknown spot and then aim towards the platform and then delay or spin point a certain amount. I mean, it needs to be quick. Yeah. But yeah, the other one is just more straightforward. Like the, the target acquired. Harriet yeah. Third. I'm so glad Curbs found that, to be honest. Yeah, Curbs found a pretty good setup for this one. Yeah, curves finding the setup makes it very good. Like, you, all you have to do is stand in the spot, reset your camera, hold forward, spin down immediately. That's it. It's not the worst. Exactly. So, yeah, accurate, clean, clean ogre for most of it. Expected. One of the segments that he actually used to grind a bit for VTT for the best theoretical timesheet. He's pretty confident on that one. I wonder what strat Sui does here. And yeah, that's ooh, actually gonna be. Strat. It's actually gonna. Ooh. Yeah. It's actually gonna be a little. A little insight on 
my I actually should probably not advertise that but when I at least when I'm talking about practice I think something like grinding segments for like a segment and run can you can benefit so much off of that because you have like these mini incentives like I want to beat that and then suddenly you gain consistency at those tricks but yeah I could focusing on shards that's still fine that's that one latch grab, grab. he doesn't yeah. want that obviously that's I don't know crap return shards in my opinion if you I mean, dive back, you have to, like, understand how the trick works, and you have to do it a lot. But once you, like, get it down, it's not the worst. Like, Sui's gonna do dive back. He's one of the best players in the world with dive back. Like, I never see him miss it. Like, he turns the camera, like, literally immediately as he grabs yeah, the shard. Yeah, I know. Just, like, I, I actually, like, watched his, like, world back period at the time to see how to do dive back. And I didn't even know he had to look at the shard, because he... He looks at the shard and immediately after he grabs the oh, shard. He's like, so push. close to the moon there too. Yeah. Like his shards always used to be one of the very best. Let's see how Eckert does. Oh no, he's gonna die. Oh, he probably can't oh this that's too rushed. Oh, no. <laughs> he was trying to be fast there, getting getting the shade and ram right there. It's obviously exactly what you don't want to see. I guess we got a race on our hands again. Yeah. Eckert's PB oh, no. okay at this point. Probably not happening anymore, but he still needs to win this one. He's still ahead. Yeah, <laughs> but they're like really close now. They're super close now. Extremely close. This isn't good. I mean, that is good. I mean, <laughs> that is a good race. Good for I feel Obviously, good. but uh, we sign up for this tournament not to PB. Yeah. We sign up to win. So that's probably Equid's main, uh, main incentive it's, right now. It's just sad. That's all I gotta say. Feels bad, man. He can selfie me guys by <laughs> 40 seconds. <laughs> it's a little insane. But yeah. Both players on Harriet, doing Harriet first. I'm not a fan, like I've always said. But yeah. Accurate, yeah. I, it seems like every time he's on good pace, he always screws up like something in Bowser's. I don't know. It's really weird. But making the race more interesting, nonetheless. So we'll see. Mac coming up. I think like Mac can determine the race pretty much. For sure. Sui's moon is also really good. Um, one like his moon isn't like necro or strive level, but it's like close, very close. His current PB maybe doesn't. Oh no, that's big. Sui's gonna be ahead. Very sad to see if I could. It's not over though. Oh like, my obviously. God. He every okay, okay, one. he's actually, he's, uh, he's actually getting unlucky at this point. Like, that's something. I mean, I'm just not gonna say anything. That's actually unlucky, dude. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> he hit every single half. <laughs> he hit every single hat before he found the right one. That is like super unlucky and loses a crap ton of time. And it's super sad to see. Yeah, Sui but in yeah, the lead now. And it's, it's, it's not over though, like obviously Eckert was in the lead the entire time and we always said Sui can come back, Sui can come back and that still counts towards Eckert. Yeah. Uh, Sui, if he falls off Mac, Eckert is ahead again. Yeah, true. That's just super sad to see. Oh, yeah. The race was so close. You know? so bad, man. But yeah. Actually doing the triple jump boxes. Sui doing the single jump boxes. Actually, I learned the single jump boxes from Sui. It's, yeah, this yeah, is uh, uncomfortably weird. close, by the way. Like, actually falling off mech for Sui would actually still uh, mean that I could have had. Oof, that really kind of looks sketchy, but... That was a good focus on him. Yeah, the climb for Sui was good, but Eckwood almost fell on the weird jump where the camera, like the big boy oh. jump, was, I guess. Okay, so Mac probably gonna has a big chance of deciding this one at least. I does I wonder if Sui does target for you. I actually don't know. I haven't seen yeah, him in either. these kingdoms lately. Yeah, we'll see. I know for Equid, a fact. Wow, Equid's climb was actually hot. super super fast. Hot. It was hot. Yeah, um, that's looking at least like Harriet third for sure, but we don't know which version yet. I think 
I know for a fact Acker does regular area 30, so that's yeah, yeah, I know. Record. It's, yeah, it's we'll gonna see. be dependent on where he stands on the mech right here. Dark Looks like uh, 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 he's gonna be attempting it. Gets it, gets nice. It. Dark Quart. Okay. We'll see if uh, Acker gets area 30. He's not gonna so be doing Target acquired variant. He's doing yep. regular where you get on the black platform. Gets it. Okay, okay, nice. It is not over, guys. Yeah. Moon is gonna be the decide on this one too. Very insane races lately on this channel here. The last one being just as close. And Moon, actually, don't underestimate a Bowser face. Like, actually, falling off Mech on Harry and Third is probably losing you as much as missing Third face in Bowser fight. Not even kidding. Yeah. Um, Harry and Third, like, yeah. God, it's remember. not. It's not that punishing to fall off, but yeah. It's definitely like more than ten to the moon. Yeah, we have a race. Let's go. Comes down to. Monkey Giga. Sui's yeah, Moon. And... Like, it's better than Acrid's. Like, I don't Sui's know. Sui's Moon is good. Like... Sui's Moon is good. But this is yeah. a race, and obviously, you wouldn't expect Sui to, to like. Actually, to be honest, like, now, if you look back, I'm kind of. I'm searching for mistakes Sui really made this run. What, yeah. I, I might have forgotten anything that was like big. Did he actually do like a big mistake? I think it was like. Oh, FMS. his FMS, actually. Yeah, some FMS, but other than that. And Flower Road skip a little bit, but it wasn't even yeah, that big. Exactly. I mean, that's just Sui. That's just classic Sui things. Like, he just. He's so consistent. Like, I don't know. Um, He's definitely 102 face, I'm pretty sure. From the, looks, from the look of it. Um, and... yeah, he would need like a 505 moon, I guess. <clears throat> Not gonna happen. <laughs> Not possible currently. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, this is still a race, and Wait. once again, Bowser fight is like the biggest one because it has these. Like, I almost, um, I almost, I almost dip, uh, differentiate between these time losses where you can react to, like bonking somewhere and maybe saving yourself, or these auto time losses, like falling off mech. I mean, you can improve them, but that's still a guaranteed time. It's like activating Klepto, dying, uh, and missing a Bowser head face. So that's like the big one here mm -hmm. coming up. Sui, oof, very nice vectors. Yeah. what You want to like either die like really early on that the, uh, thing or go like have a good vector to where you just run or like run and then roll, which both players not being able to do that. Um, Strav actually told me about that optimization. You like, you just land and, say, and instead of diving, you just roll. Yep. Just, yeah. So he's moving so far very good. Mm -hmm. Akron, I mean, obviously. Ooh. He did that last race. Yeah, I Pretty remember. Swaggy. Yeah. Very good early what? phase of. Oh, what? He was too much to the left, I think. That well, that's a weird sucks. mistake. Yeah. I haven't seen that one in a while. That sucks. Yeah, that's a, a huge time loss. So, so yeah, at this point, definitely needs to mess up quite heavily here in this Bowser fight. Let's see how it goes, though. Sui has the advantage for sure. Yeah, once again, one of these situations where it's pretty much on Sui to throw it away if, if he doesn't want to win, which I assume he wants to, so... <laughs> I mean, 2D. I guess you can miss the second half and 2D skip, obviously. But... Yeah, I mean, the, the the one thing that could happen that would actually still tie this is like missing second and third. And yeah. that's not expected from Sui Sega, but it's a possibility. I've seen it all. So, second phase gets it though. So, yeah. at this point, looking grim for Egg. Let's see if he can have a good Bowser fight and let's see if Sui plays that well and cleans that one. And closes that one out. Yep. Come on, guys. Oh no. That's not that big of a deal. It's like a second. Still done. The game not pulling any punches for Akron. So we Sweet getting the third phase. Yeah. It's not looking good for Ak. <laughs> it's it's gonna be a if Ak wants to win he needs to put the good old bless RNG 2D skip in this chat, but not with the attention it usually is meant for. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh it's 
yeah, Sui's a crappy man here for sure. And it's sad. Pretty sad. Yeah, very insane, insane run for but obviously Bowser Bowser's Kingdom costing him a lot as far as the race goes and luncheon diminishing his insane run. But it's not completely over. We do have to these group coming up, which is like the one big thing. And I guess the invisible wall. I just read in the Discord today that someone apparently got invisible walled again. Have not seen it in the race yet though. You I got invisible I got invisible like twice yesterday. That's scary. Or like two days ago or three days ago I think. Doing That's actually totally. so scary. Yeah. I I don't know why. To be that, okay, then that's scary. I was worried about to ask, did you at least know what you did wrong? Okay, Sui coming up nope. here. Jump, jump, he gets it. I, li I don't know what I did wrong for Pilly, so <laughs> if I get invisible, did a run. And yeah, if you guys don't know about this invisible wall thing we are talking about, there's literally the chance that the game puts an invisible wall around the very last wire in the game after you destroyed that final block, after all of the pillars have fallen, and then you need to basically claw. The, the mid middle moon block from the outside is so easy to die. Oh, oh Acrid. Acrid, get up there, bud. No! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why he did go for it, dude? Why he did go for it? <laughs> no! <laughs> Feels bad, man, for Acrid. Missing to be killed and dying. That is, uh, very sad. But, I mean, it's not the worst. Sui gonna get like a low 102 here. Like, yeah, and once again that just showed that this run from Sui was still very, very good making these mistakes and would it making some super minor mistakes, but yeah, still Sui Sega being Sui Sega. And Acrid, that just showed how insane Acrid, Acrid's run actually was. Yeah. Like, do you guys remember how far he actually, he was like 35 seconds ahead of Sui. Imagine if he closed that out, it would've been like a 101 45. Crazy yeah. stuff. I could get into these good now. Sui Sega winning the quarterfinals with a 102-11. Might have been a 15 on his splits because we did do our sinking work. But yeah, GG's to Sui Sega for this one. <laughs> Gonna be playing Rhea next round. <laughs> he gets the wall jump. Oh, <laughs> he did it for the people. Yeah, yeah GG Sui. Good run, dude. You're halt. And accurate, yeah. yeah. Insane Capture run. effect to still... He's still gonna get a 103. <laughs> Guys, he's still gonna get a 103. Dying on 2D skip. Insane. Yeah, and that just goes to show one more time. Obviously, getting that death there and in Bowser's and the topper shenanigans and some lunch mistakes, everything until that. Crazy. Yeah. He also uh, died on Bowser's game as well. Um. Just closing it out at this point. Very heartbreaking for Accurate here, obviously. Played super, super well this entire run. Sui Sega apparently golding his last two splits, and if you look back right now, played super solid. This moon was actually like quote unquote flawless. <laughs> and also the Bowser can look very nice. Accurate with the, the, uh, the walking the He's walking. But yeah, I could closing that out. Still getting 103 with a death into the insane run, being ahead for mostly all of the race until Bowser's. Crazy. Yeah, well, GG's to both of these runners. Sui Sega is gonna be advancing into the semifinals. He's gonna be running against Rhea in the next round, which I'm looking forward to this one. It's gonna be obviously super hard for like actually look at Sui's time right now. That is not easy to match in in a race. Yeah. Like getting a one or two eleven. Uh, I mean, people like you apparently can come close, but uh, Sui Sega definitely playing very well. And as far as Acrid side goes, we do have him right here. I obviously don't want to almost ask him because that felt so heartbreaking. Acrid. I don't know, man. <laughs> Uh, you played really well. Yeah, I don't know. That was that was interesting. I know that well, that run was really good. Then everything started to go wrong, like every time in Metro, and, and it just didn't go well, go better. 
But yeah, what can you do at this point? Like, you actually just showed off once again what you are capable of. In my opinion, there's nothing much to be done with after we all know 101 is the next step for you. It, it is so easily achievable, almost quote unquote easily achievable. Let's not get too mad by this. Suicide like obviously an insane runner. We both know that. And uh, playing very well over this race. And you just basically proved how, how, how insane you can play. And yeah. Not much really to be too angry about. Obviously, very heartbreaking, but I guess that's speed running and still GGs from my side for sure. Accurate. Uh, very good yeah. showing. Mm -hmm. Something to be proud of. <laughs> and guys, uh, make sure to follow these guys because Sui Sega is probably going to be on his quest to reclaim the throne. And when I say the throne, I mean the throne, the top of the world. Uh, Chaos Pringle is going to do the same, my com commentator right now, actually. So make sure to drop a follow on his channel as well. Follow Accurate is going to easily going to be achieving the 101 in the near future when he's deciding to run this. And follow Global Speedrun Association on this slash speedrun channel because we will be having these other races on this channel. Um, Semi-finals, Rails, The Autumn versus Sui Sega. <laughs> And uh, Stravos versus Equon. Definitely super hype matchups. And these races have been delivering lately. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Chaos, do you wanna do you wanna give some ending thoughts? Uh, I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. But yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next race. Have a good evening, have a good day, and see yeah. you.